Gautam and Sohani working together can finish the job in 20 days. Gautam, Sohani together can finish the job in 20 days. If Gautam does only 60 percentage of his usual work on a day, so if the efficiency goes down to 0.6 G, then Sohani must do 150 percentage of her usual work. So Sohani should become 1.5 times of her work on that day to exactly make up for it. That means if I take G as the number of units of done by done by Gautam in a day and S as the number of units done by Sohani in a day, the sum of these two values must be equal to the sum of these two values, G plus S. This is going to clearly give me a relationship between G and S. Now let's try to figure out that relationship. 0.5 times of S should be equal to 0.4 times of G. S by G is then going to be 4 by 5. That means if uh, S by G is then going to be 4 by 5. So Suhani is, if is doing 4 units, then Gautam is then doing 5 units. That's what the question is saying. Now, if Suhani is doing 4 units and Gautam is doing 5 units, together in a day they are doing 9 units. And the total work is getting over in 20 days. So the total work then should become, total work then should become 9 into 20, which is going to be 180 units, which is going to be 180 units. So total unit of work is what? 180 units that we have. Now, what is the question talking about? The number of days required by the faster worker to complete the job. Who is the faster worker? Gotham. He is going to complete the job in how many days? It is going to be 180 divided by 5 because it is doing 5 units every day. 180 divided by 5 is going to be 36 days. So it is going to take 36 days for the faster worker to finish the complete job.